What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make lower thirds in Photoshop. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So of course we are doing this in Photoshop but what I recommend doing when making a lower third is actually screenshot your video. So as you can see I have Sony Vegas opened up right now and this is one of my videos and I'm just going to screenshot from a part. So for me I'm always doing tutorials so I'm always going to be on the computer. So I can either screenshot my desktop or screenshot an application like this. So you'll make sure it's set to best and full for the screenshot and just simply snapshot and we can just save it to the desktop. So now we have the image on the desktop, we can come here and just drag it onto Photoshop and now we can begin the lower third. So we will get rid of it after we have created the lower third. This is just guidance to what it will look like on our videos. So come down here and as you can see we're going to have custom shapes and all these other different shapes. For me I'm going to use a rounded rectangle tool and as you can see at the top make sure it's selected to shape. The fill can be whatever colour you would like. I'm going to have a white one for this. Uh, I will have a stroke and just a little bit of a stroke. And everything I'm making right now is going to be off the top of my head. So um, we're just going to drag out. I have it this big. And I'm actually going to put the stroke up a bit. Just like this. There we go. And now I want to uncheck this. And I'm going to make this side just go straight and then these sides more rounded off. Like this. There we go. So I'm going to close out of this and now I'm just going to position this like here. If you want to make it bigger because you might have made it too small, you can press Ctrl T on your keyboard and you can simply just drag it out. That's what I'm going to do right now to make it go about there. So this is how it will look when I make it or when I put it into a video. The next thing we need to do is add some text. So of course we come to the text tool and you can see we get this straight away. I don't like using this so what I like to do is add a new layer and then I drag out my text. So at the top here you choose your font, I'm going to keep mine the same and then you choose the font size along with the font color. So as you can see I just wrote follow me on Twitter and now underneath that I'm going to put at casual savage because that's my Twitter but I'm gonna do this on a new layer again gonna go to my text and just drag it that's what we don't want to do we're gonna go to the text and just drag it out like this so as you can see I've done that and I'm gonna make it a bit smaller by pressing ctrl a and coming up to the top here and just make it a bit smaller I'm also gonna change your color to a gray Actually, I'm going to change it to a cyan blue, just like the Twitter icon. And I'm going to position this towards the left. Now I'm going to be dragging on the Twitter logo, as you can see right here. And the way we're resizing this, either hold shift and drag in from the corner, or shift and alt. I'm going to add a black stroke to the Twitter icon, and to the uh, casual savage text, like that. So now it makes it stand out more. Follow me on Twitter, at casual savage, and it's got the Twitter icon right there. As you can see also adding two colors or more than one color it brings diversity so we have the black and the blue which go very well together and then the black stroke here as well. The font I used was called the bold font if anyone's wondering so you can go ahead and use that as well. Now of course we did start off with the screenshot we used and we need to get rid of it. Click the padlock so it goes away and select delete. This is what you're going to get. Now you come to file, save as and then call it Twitter or whatever it's going to be called and then make sure it's a PNG this means there's no background to it select save I've already saved it but okay and now if we go to the folder here it is this is what we just created so now I'm going to be showing you actually how to use it so you're going to be dragging it on and it's in the projects media right now obviously it needs to be above just like this and let's go to when I'm actually in the video showing something on the website like here so this is what it's going to look like and first of all you can drag it out to choose how long you want it to last for. So maybe 4 seconds, 5 seconds maybe. There we go so now it's exactly 5 seconds. And we can head over to transitions 
and we can put any of these on so then when it comes up it'll have a nice transition to it so for example gradient wipe if we come down here you can do a left to right gradient wipe so if we drag this on right at the start and we're going to change this to good and auto so it doesn't lag and we play it through that's what it's going to look like obviously it's really quick so if we drag it out longer that's what it's going to look like much more cleaner and if we just drag it out a bit longer and we add a linear right to left at the end of it and we drag this to like there if we play this through now as you can see it's going to be on the screen and then it's going to go away a very nice transition to use for lower thirds I recommend gradient white so that is it for this tutorial. I will put a download link to this in the description so you can go ahead and use this as a template and you can use it as your own as well. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace.